Hey everyone, my name is Peyton and I am Arbor Avenue, AKA your next favorite band. And today I will be going through all of the gear that I used in my first full length album, Coffee Eyes. Pause the video right here if you haven't listened to the album just yet. You can click the link in the description below to listen on Spotify, Apple Music, Bandcamp, or wherever you get your music. While you're at it, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel, but let's get brewing! So this is my Arturia Key Lab Essential 61 MIDI controller. I use this on everything that wasn't a, an instrument, so like piano, synthesizers, the whirly keyboard, um, and even my percussion. Love this MIDI keyboard and uh, yeah, it's been really good to me so far. Next up is my Yamaha Gitalele. I love this thing and I featured this on my song Midday. Kind of so sounds a little bit like this. So this is actually my first guitar that I, I ever got. This is my Taylor GS Mini Koa. I learned how to play guitar on this thing and I mean, come on, look at that wood grain. Absolutely gorgeous. I featured this guitar on my song, Let Go. I would play it for you, except I, to be honest, I kind of pieced it together when I was recording just because it is a little difficult for me to play all together. But otherwise, this is what I used. Next up we have my awesome bass, which is a Fender Jaguar player series. This one's cool because it offers both a P bass pickup and a jazz pickup, so I can go ahead and blend the two depending on the song there. I also just love this maple fretboard, so easy to play. But yeah, I used this on almost every single track. Now I'm sure you guys are all wondering what I use in terms of electric guitar and all of my songs. It all came from this guitar right here, which is my Fender Jaguar Player Series, limited edition in this awesome shell pink color. I love this guitar for a lot of reasons, like the shortened neck there. It's not as long as the um, Jazz Masters are. And then uh, I do like the pickups on these. I believe these are just like Fenders, standard pickups that they use in their guitars. For all the lead work, I use the bridge pickup only. And then for anything rhythmic, I use the middle pickup, which is, um, I think, a combination between the two. Fun fact about this guitar, you can't really see in the video, obviously, but the neck here has a frozen truss rod, so I cannot adjust this neck to make this guitar truly in tune. So everything that you hear is kind of out of tune on purpose to accommodate this poor guitar. Now I have flipped the camera for you guys so you can see my kind of messy studio setup here. Uh, first up are my Audio-Technica headphones that I use for recording, mixing, mastering, everything. I mean, these are the end all be all for me and I've been using them since 2012. We have my uh, condenser microphone which would be the Bluebird by Blue Microphones. I use this on both my vocals and let go and then any of the um, acoustic instruments like the Gitalele and the Taylor Koa guitar. Moving over we have my 18i20 by Focusrite. This was my preamp and I directly plugged my electric guitar into this preamp and used basically all of the plugins into Logic, which is what you're seeing here. The bass preamp that I use that goes into the Focusrite. So this is my Dark Glass uh, Microtubes 500. For mixing and mastering as well, I have the JBL LSR 305s. So yeah, this is my basic studio setup with everything that I need all right in this area here. Nothing too fancy, but it definitely helped me write an album. Now I can't forget to tell you guys uh, the most important element to this entire process. It would be coffee. Not this specific coffee, because trust me, I've already drank the entire bag that I did use to sample 
all of my percussion, but everything that you hear that is drums or percussion, shakers, all of that stuff is sampled coffee. I know, crazy, right? Thank you guys so much for letting me ramble on about all the gear that I used in Coffee Eyes. Uh, stay tuned, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel, listen to Coffee Eyes, and see you next time.